I am going to... Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a tutorial featuring this look right here. Um, it's just a really like bronzy, summery kind of look and yeah, I was just playing with some new makeup that I got and yeah. So if you guys want to see how I created this, then keep on watching. So first, I'm going to start with my foundation as usual. I'm using the NYX Angel Veil uh, Primer and I'm going to mix the new Cover FX Drops. This is in the shade G550 and I'm going to put three drops into the primer, mix it on the back of my hand and this stuff has flash fusion technology which basically means that it just mixes together really quickly. You can see that the pigment just immediately takes over and I'm just going to put this on my skin as I would as if it were a foundation um, and so far I have been using this for about a week now and I really just love the coverage I think that after a while my skin just looks like my skin which I love if you guys want an in-depth review or whatever then make sure you guys let me know down below because I did film it but I don't know if you guys want to see it so now I'm just priming my eyelids now I'm going to be taking Beaches and Cream. This is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow on a Sigma E40. And I'm just gonna be taking this all over my lid. No rhyme or reason, just trying to create a transition color. This is a really nice light tan color and as you can see, it barely shows up. But putting this color down will make blending all of the other eyeshadows much easier. Next, I'm taking Chickadee and I believe this is a Morphe brush, but I will list everything down below. So sorry, I don't remember what the name of this brush is, but this color is gonna give us a really nice warm tan color and that's what we're going for. Nice, warm, simple, bronzy eyes. So yeah, just take it into your crease and warm it up. Next, I'm taking the color Cocoa Bear and using the same Morphe brush, I'm going to deepen up my crease. This color will add a little bit of a reddish brown tone, which will go really nicely with the bronze shade that we're putting on next. So just take that into windshield wiper motions, but kind of keep it like circular, like follow the shape of your eyeball when you're doing this. So you get a really nice rounded crease. Next, I'm going in with the star of the show. This is by ColourPop, and it's this beautiful, dark, bronzy color with like little purple reflex in it, and it's in the shade On the Rocks. These shadows are super amazing, and they blend so well. So I'm just taking this on a flat shader brush and just putting this onto my crease. I'm not gonna, I'm sorry, onto my lid. And I'm gonna take this very carefully because this stuff is really pigmented. It blends out very easily, but still you wanna be careful with this because you just wanna keep this on the lid. And then I'm going to take brown sugar again for Makeup Geek and on the same brush, just gonna put that into my outer V. So I'm just deepening up my outer V with brown sugar and I'm going to be taking whatever is left on the brush and blending out my crease so there isn't that harsh line. Then I'm gonna take Cocoa Bear and Chickadee on my Sigma E40, the first brush I used, and just create more depth in my crease. Next, Coco Bear, again on another flat shader brush. This is a clean one, and just gonna put that on my lower lash line just to create some depth down there so it's not completely bare. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to be taking On The Rocks and just layering that on top of Coco Bear and blend using it to blend out Coco Bears just so you get a really nice transition and it isn't so harsh looking on your lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take my little itty bitty <laughs> LA Girl pencil liner in black and I love this pencil and it's almost gone. Anyway, so just gonna <laughs> use this to line my lower lash line, hitting my lashes with waterproof mascara, whatever you guys have is fine. Now I'm taking the shade Glamorous and I'm gonna pat this on top of On The Rocks just to make it look a little bit more bronzy. This does add a very nice dimension to your lid, so it's optional if you wanna do it. 
Now I'm going to be taking Coco Lashes in the style Ariel and these are serious dupes if you're into Nor Fairy by House of Lashes and they have a really nice thick base so it actually makes you look like you're wearing eyeliner when your eyes are open even though you're not so that's actually kind of nice. And then I'm just going to bronze my skin with Cover FX in the shade Suntan. I love this brand like most of their products are either vegan or acne safe and I have acne prone skin so if you guys have acne prone skin then try out this brand it is amazing I am not sponsored they are not paying me to say that I am just letting you guys know that this is a brand that I have truly been enjoying so yeah just bronzing my temples here and the sides of my face basically like you know you guys have heard it before where the Sun hits your face naturally so yeah just want to blend out your neck Next, I'm going to be contouring with the Kat Von D Contour Palette. And you guys have seen me this before. So basically, I am just following my cheekbones. And you want to blend upwards, not downwards. Because if you blend downwards, then it can make your face look really muddy, which is no bueno. So just blend out that harsh line, take it onto your temples, and boom simple contouring done next I'm taking one of my April favorites it's the infatuation blush by makeup geek and this is just gonna give me a really nice beautiful wash of like sun-kissed color and again her products just deliver every time I have not had any reaction to them next I'm gonna take my favorite highlighter of the moment it's by ColourPop and it's one of their new highlighters this is in the shade wisp and it's this really beautiful golden color look at that pigment I barely touched it and it's just <laughs> it's just straight up pigment and it's so beautiful it's not an opaque opaque pigment but it will give you a very beautiful believable glow and here I'm just blending it out with this is a real technique setting brush so yeah I'm just blending out the harsh lines just to make it look real <laughs> Here I'm just taking that on my pinky and I will be using the same highlighter for my inner corners. And then there is a little bit of a gap where my false eyelashes are not. <laughs> so I'm just filling that in with um, my black liquid liner just to make it look like a continuous line. Now I'm going to be taking ColourPop's Brink Lippy Pencil and then the ColourPop um, Brink Lipstick, like coordinating lipstick. Or a lippy stick and here I'm just lining my lips you guys have seen this and know how to do this I'm not over lining my lips I'm just lining right on top of my lip line and here I'm just filling it in and then I'm gonna take the lippy stick and just kind of layer that on top to make it look more solid or opaque I guess but yeah these lippy sticks are super comfortable to wear and this is lippy option number one that's what it looks like. Awkward selfies. God, that's so hard to watch. Anyway, here is lippy option number two. This is bizarre, I think. Look, I don't even know. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so you're just gonna... I actually put this on top. You don't have to. You can wear it alone and it will still look the exact, exactly the same. So, yeah. I love these matte lippies they're just so comfortable now I've heard mixed reviews some people either love them or they hate them I don't know but I mean five dollar hauler it's pretty good deal for me and I love the wear of them so here is the finished look and there's a little before and after <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching guys see you soon So I hope you guys liked that tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe right here. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below with any of videos that you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.